23 was Garmon Construction's 100th year in business, and this morning, the group, which got its start in Terre Haute, was recognized for its contributions to the area. Jen Thompson takes us to some of their latest projects. Since 1923, Garmon Construction has been a staple in the community, building iconic buildings like the Terre Haute Convention Center and new construction on Harsh's Behavioral Health Center and Mental Health Hospital to the new Vigo County Jail. But it all started over a hundred years ago. Back in 1923, Claude H. Garmon started his own company, building the American dream one house at a time in Terre Haute, Indiana. We started as a small company, and now we're all over the state of Indiana. Being very fortunate to call Terre Haute our home, where we grew up and where we really um, were able to, to um, develop the fundamentals that are, make us successful today. So the significance of having a business in Terre Haute for over 100 years is pretty incredible in itself. And we're thankful Garmong has chosen its home to be Terre Haute, Migo County for all those years. Mitchell Hannum is the vice president of Garmong, and he says over the years, family has remained an important part of the business. Yeah, as a fifth, fifth generation family member uh, working inside the company, um, every day I wake up to represent and, and uh, carry the flag for my family. And, and we really, that flows into everything we do with how we treat employees, with our connections to the community. I mean, it's really more than just a business, more than just a construction company. It's, um, it, it, it is a family, and that's cliche to say, but, but we, we mean it. Hannum said one of the initiatives Garmong had for 2023 was to look back at the company's history. The record keeping back in the, tw the 20s and 30s and 40s and 50s and 60s, I mean, it wasn't that great. So there's many structures. Um, we actually discovered that we built the first parking garage in the state of Indiana. Uh, didn't even know it because it was back in the 30s. You drive down the street and it's every other building. They're expanding all across the state, all across the Midwest, really. Uh, they were huge uh, partners with the Vigo County Jail, uh, community corrections remodel, all kinds of things. They've just done a great job for our community and we're thankful for their partnership. So what's next for Garmon Construction? A renovation and small addition to the John T. Myers Technology Center, around $60 million on ISU's campus. Reporting in Terre Haute, I'm Jen Thompson.